In this case study, we're going to look at how we've integrated an OCS platform in order to facilitate 4G to 3G roaming. OK, so we are working with a mobile operator who has deployed a state-of-the-art OCS in their 4G network. The operator is at the stage where they're testing their roaming services. When a subscriber roams outside the 4G network into a 3G network, the OCS needs to be able to communicate with this 3G network. The OCS supports the diameter RO or GY interface, while all charging functions in a 3G network are handled over the legacy SS7 CAMEL protocol. The operator therefore needs to deploy a diameter interworking function. Charging for prepay subscribers is by its very nature more complicated as there are constant checks being made to ensure that the subscriber has enough credit. The prepay subscribers in the 3G network were doing these credit checks or updates over USSD, a protocol commonly used in 3G networks for billing, location based services, mobile money, and menu based information services. So in addition to providing CAMEL to Diameter, there was now an additional requirement to provide USSD to Diameter. The interworking function, as with all Squire Technologies products, is tightly integrated with the telephony application server. The SVI TAS provides flexible APIs to allow rapid deployment of new interfaces. Used here in this case study example to provide USSD to diameter interface. The SVI TAS allows clients to easily and rapidly extend their service offering as it enables interop to a range of interfacing technologies such as XML, SOAP, SQL, RADIUS, HTTP and proprietary APIs etc. Our client was able to extend functionality by utilising the HTTP interface supported on the OCS platform and implement a full USSD menu-based application for their subscribers. They were also able to develop the Diameter RY interface to accommodate a proprietary advice of charge message sent over USSD. The interworking function is physically deployed and embedded in a pair of diameter routing agents. The DRAs provide resiliency through redundancy, load sharing and balancing via sophisticated onboard routing. In the scenario where there is an IWF node failure, all ongoing sessions are maintained. If the OCS platform is unavailable, access would be granted and a CDR is generated for billing reconciliation. As network demand increases, an operator will want to launch new instances of the OCS platform. Each OCS will be configured to point its diameter interface at the pair of DRAs, which will automatically route messages to and from the appropriate OCS. Sophisticated load balancing can be configured so that, for example, if OCS version 1 is congested, then the DRA will automatically route to the next available OCS. Full support for session binding ensures correct online credit control is being performed when multiple simultaneous services are being billed for a single subscriber. This model allows for ease of deployment in a cloud-based NFV network, allowing OCS resources to be easily deployed or removed as network demand dictates.